Now that we've seen the perspective of a postal worker, let's look at someone who used the postal service before electronic communication. So, how has your use of the postal service changed over the years? I use the postal service a lot less than I did um, before emails were available and um, bill payment options. I uh, would have to mail any kind of payments um, using the postal service. I would have to correspond to friends, especially if they lived further away. Um, you didn't always call people. You'd write letters and you know wait for a letter to come back. Um, and, and I did that. I did that when I was in college as opposed to calling. Um, and then once I graduated college and I had to pay bills or correspond with people or even to correspond to my you know, place where you would work, you would do that all through the postal service. And now a lot of that kind of correspondence is done via email. So since the emergence of alternative uh, technologies to the, postal soft, to the post office, do you think that the postal service is doing enough to meet today's demands? Yes, I do, because they have to service people who don't use emails. Um, I think they do enough because they need to be able to process like letters when they actually have to be sent, and I think they do a good job of that, and they have alternatives for different delivery dates. You can send a package, and I find that they are a lot cheaper and just as easy as long as you can get to them during their regular business hours than UPS. Um, we do, you know, a lot of people still send Christmas cards, that's a big thing, and that um, is great to do through the Postal Service. So do you think it's easier to use the Post Office or other modes of communication? I guess it depends um, what you're doing. I think it's easier and, and kind of safer and more, um, I don't know, accurate or, or and quicker to use bill payment, online bill payment options. So I like to use them and like some online banking. So I don't pay very many bills by writing, you know, and it takes a lot longer to actually hand write checks and, and do it that way. So that is not good for the post office, but for mailing letters or small packages, um, when you know you need to get something, and I pick using the post office before UPS in most cases. So, considering that the U.S. Postal Service is in quite a debt, up to eight or nine billion dollars right now, do you think that? anything is going to change in the near future because of what they where they're at right now their status I think that they something's going to have to change um, I think that as a business they have to evaluate what they need to do and the fact that to send a letter any place in the United States and it's still the same cost, I mean, maybe that's something that could change. I also think that they do not need to deliver mail every day. I mean, I think they could cut down on some days, and especially Saturday. And the other thing that I think they probably don't make a lot of money on is the amount of um, um, junk mail that they process. That's just the free pamphlets, or, you know, all the junk mail that you get um, that they have to process, I think that's where they lose money. I think that they could stay in business and reduce their debt. So if they, so if the Postal Service is talking about shutting um, thousands of um, offices down, if they were to shut down the post office nearest to you, how would that affect your relationship and using the Postal Service? Um, it, if they shut down the one very close to us, it, it would be inconvenient because I can walk there, it's easy for me, but there's one, there's one actually a half mile away, you know, we have so many in the area, you could just schedule your trips a little better, or I, 
I don't think to me that that's so inconvenient. As so you think the uh, the postal service could get away with shutting down a couple, um, so several post offices that are extremely close to each other and still yes. profit. I think they should. I think that's definitely something they should do. Many agree that the Postal Service needs to change. This agency is trying very hard to keep up with technology. You can buy stamps in more locations like online or in the grocery store. And on the website, you can print mailing labels and order boxes to the home so your home could almost be considered a post office. But with many companies going paperless, will your house really need to be a post office? Some suggest cutting out Saturday delivery, but this will most likely have a drastic effect due to the speed at which America operates. The internet never takes a day off, and cutting out Saturday would most likely hurt than help. And what of rising costs? They simply drive people to other forms of communication like email. The question now is not if paper communication will be defunct, but when. People are communicating faster and more efficiently with electronic communication than what the Postal Service can currently provide, and people are gravitating towards this efficiency. The Postal Service will need a drastic change, but if it survived the telephone and the telegraph, who says it can't survive the communication revolution? Now that we've seen the perspective. <laughs> now that we've seen the perspective. <laughs> now that we've seen the perspective of the postal. <laughs> Many agree the postal service needs to change. This agency is trying to keep up with technology, but now you can buy stamps online and. Um, the <laughs> Uh, the cost of damn, shit. The question now is not if paper will be <laughs> One can email, chat, pay bills electronically, and shop through the internet, all without leaving to your <laughs> Many agree that the postal service needs to change. This agency is trying very hard <laughs> agency agency. However, the comp oh, Jesus. Many agree that the Postal Service needs to change. This agency is trying to keep very hard up with the technology. <laughs> One can email, chat, pay bills electronically, and shop for anything they may need with the internet, all without ever leaving their computer. In addition, being able. Oh, God, gosh, I.